how's it going everyone? Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we're going to revisit the Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer set of six awesome looking movie toys released by Burger King way back in 2007. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. First up in the set is The Thing, or also known as Ben Grimm. So this is Ben Grimm who was turned into this, The Thing. And he's all stone. And look at the detail in this. This is so cool. It looks like it's real stone. So let's see, what does Ben Grimm do? What does the thing do? So he has a few moving parts. So you can rotate the arm all the way around here. You can rotate this arm here all the way around. Well, almost all the way around. You can't turn the waist, so he kind of goes to there, and then he hits his own kneecap. But basically, he goes, almost goes all the way around. So you can turn his head like this, wiggle it back and forth, and that is it. So it's just a solid figurine for the most part with a couple of moving bits and let's give you a little spinneroo here and you can take them all in it looks kind of cool so he does not spin at the waist he does wiggle so you can wiggle him at the waist but clearly it does not move so in order to have him stand right like if you were to display him you'd have to put him like this here and then put his arm like this and kind of pose him like this maybe get his arm up like that and then he kind of has this like fierce fighting pose which looks kind of cool you got to get that arm just right and then he'll balance you can see what's happening here and let's see we get it i think we got it so that's that's pretty much where you need to have his arms positioned to get him to balance right but either way he looks awesome right so there you go it's the thing the next one up is the Invisible Woman, also known as Sue Storm or Sue Richards, if you will. And so you can see down here, bottom of her legs is kind of invisible. It's kind of neat. So there's no glow in the dark or anything. She just has clear translucent plastic there, like she's getting ready to transform into her invisible self, <laughs> I guess. And let's see, so you can rotate her hand right here, and then her fist back here kind of moves up and down, and she rotates at the waist. Any movement in the head? Nothing. So... Again, they're just basic little action figures that look really cool, and they have, like, exaggerated feet and hands, <laughs> so it kind of makes them look kind of cartoony and silly, but I like it. It's kind of neat. She's awesome, right? Now, I wish they would, like, came out with a version where she was completely clear as well, but you know what? I can't complain. It's a cool set. It's a cool figure, and she's awesome. So there you go. Sue Storm. Next up in the set is the Human Torch also known as Johnny Storm, Sue Storm's brother. And you can see he's like got a mix of powers going on, so we won't spoil it if you haven't ever seen the movie. You need to check it out. It's a pretty good movie. So he's got flaming legs in his waist down here. I'll give you an up-close look at that. So you can see all the flames coming off of his legs and down through his feet. And then up here, he's got the ginormous fists. There you go. And then there's an up-close look of his face. So you can move his hands all the way around. They spin all the way around. And you can swivel him at the waist and that's about it for articulation of moving bits so again just a simple action figure with some limited posability he stands pretty good though i like it so there you go it's the human torch next up in the set we have mr fantastic reed richards and as you all well probably know if you're familiar with the fantastic four he can stretch that's right he can just stretch all his body parts everywhere make all kinds of cool stuff happen and as you can see his body is elongated and stretched out which looks kind of cool and let's see so for moving bits you can rotate his arm all the way around there you can rotate this arm here and you can spin him at the waist so you can actually do this and because it's mr fantastic that actually would work so he could kind of like look at himself backwards does it stand like that well kind of maybe you spin the spin the hands backwards like this and counter counterbalance there we go so now he's like all kinds of wonky and backwards <laughs> this is actually kind of cool and then we just flip it back to normal and let's see any movement at the head nothing and that's about it so his feet and legs are all molded into place he's got movement at the waist here and his arms and that is about it so there you go it's mr fantastic next up we have dr doom or victor von doom we'll just stick with dr doom because it sounds more awesome so let's see so he's got some moving bits here so you can rotate his arm right here and spin that around like that and you can take this arm here and kind of move it up and down it is limited here it is hindered by his like like coat cape thingy and you can see here it comes apart so you actually can take this off i have been able to take this off before if i show you on the back it's kind of like rubbery so if you look there 
it pegs into the back and there's a little tab and a little peg in the front as well so if you fiddle with it enough you can actually remove this and it will come on and off if you want it to come off but if you take it off it looks kind of wonky so it's best just to leave it on because it looks more accurate i guess and let's see any other movements so you can swivel them at the waist here like that <laughs> this is great love these little things and anything at the head nope it's got a nice shiny chromed out face mask so if you remember from the comics and the movies he wears that cool looking mask so there you go kind of neat and that is about it for dr doom awesome and finally we have norin rad also known as well the silver surfer look at this guy he looks awesome why because he's so silvery oh this is so cool let's do a little spitteroo for you here take it all in he looks awesome now his little surfboard here is slightly warped so he doesn't stand all that well but i think it's just because it was sitting in storage for so long but we got him out we can get this moved back into position let me show you here so he kind of just leans over and you can see right here it's kind of warped here but if we can get this to kind of go flat again which i'm going to try to do and put him on display i think it'll sit just fine but either way it looks awesome and let's see for moving bits you can move this arm back and forth and you can spin them at the waist like so and let's see this arm does move a little bit it is hindered here but i think it's limited in posability so it kind of just goes about let's see we get them like this here and then you can kind of move the arm like that and i don't think it spins all the way around let's see does it spin all the way around nope that's as far as it goes so it goes from there to there <laughs> that's about it and let's see how do we want to pose them so we get them like this how's that look <laughs> this is awesome like so there is some cool moving bits so you can give them different poses and give them a different look and we'll spin it around this way and get them back to normal and we'll kind of move the hand here and we'll get this fist right there that looks kind of cool there you go it's the Silver Surfer. There you have it, everyone. The Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer set of six awesome little movie toys released by Burger King back in 2007. I love this set. I'm going to put it out on display. I'm a huge fan of the Fantastic Four, and especially the Silver Surfer. He's one of my top five, top six, all-time favorite superheroes. Just a complete win of a set. Limited articulation, but I'll tell you what. It's cool because they are actually toys, and they are actually minifigures that you can play with and have a good time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. See you next time.